Hey guys, so I feel like I have not sat down and filmed a video in so long, so I wanted to apologize that I haven't uploaded in a little bit while, but I do have two jobs, so it takes up a lot of my time, so I'm really sorry, but my package just came in the mail, and I'm literally so excited. I ordered stuff from BH Cosmetics, so I figured I would do a haul video, so, and my camera is dying. I have the worst light ever, so anyway, I have stuff from BH Cosmetics. I have stuff that I've just picked up recently from the drugstore. And then I have some clothes to show you from Plato's Closet. So I'm going to start with the makeup I've picked up from the drugstore. So I've recently discovered my two favorite foundations of all time. Not my two favorite foundations from the drugstore. Like my two favorite foundations of all time. So first is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I freaking love this stuff. This is literally a dream. It's like $5.99 and it is literally so good. Yes, it does smell like paint. But... It's not like it smells like that on your face. And this literally gives, like, the best coverage ever. And it's, like, $5.99. It's crazy. And then second, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. You can see I've used a bunch of this. I have worn this every single day since I bought it. I'm wearing it today. It just gives the best coverage ever. Literally, it's, like, medium to full. These are both medium to full coverage. But I love this. It comes in a pump, which is amazing. And it's... I don't remember exactly how much this is. But it's from the drugstore, so it can't be that expensive. So, this is amazing. This, These are literally my two favorite foundations I have ever tried in my life. They are so good. Next, I have been loving this. This is the CoverGirl True Blend, and I want you to see how much I love this. This is like a new powder I discovered. This is my second one, and it's like gone. I need a new one. But this is in translucent medium, and I love this powder. It gives like a little bit of coverage to add to your foundation. But it's nice because if you don't have on foundation, it gives you, like, a little bit of coverage. It's not just, like, translucent. It gives you a little something. But it's perfect for over your foundation because it just gives you that little bit of extra coverage and mattifies your skin. And it's just so nice. I really, really, really like this. But I went to the drugstore and they were out of that. So I picked up the CoverGirl Clean in medium light. This is, like, not that dark. Like, it looks kind of dark. But it's really not. Like, honestly, look see like it's really not that dark and I like to go a little bit darker I like to pretend I'm a little bit more tan than I am but anyway I have not tried this yet so this is like literally just a whole item I haven't tried this yet so I don't know if it's good or not but I bought it next I discovered literally like my favorite highlighter of all time this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Rose Gold I literally dug my nail into this and like destroyed it but this is literally like guys watch literally look at that this highlighter is stunning if you are into like blinding highlight and you've never tried this you literally have to it is the best highlighter like seriously one of the best highlighters I've ever tried in my life I love it so much I've worn it every single day since I bought it it's so good I freaking love this stuff I can't explain enough then just yesterday I bought this this is the covergirl true blend super stunner palette and this one I think is in the shade It's Lit. It's like the fair light one. They have a couple different shades, I believe. But these are literally like as soft as butter. Like literally as soft as butter. There are some swatches. But they are seriously so pretty. But they're like, once I actually put them on my face yesterday, I did already have highlighter on, but they kind of looked a little bit more natural, like they weren't blinding. So if you like a more natural highlight, I think you'll like this. I like a more blinding, insane, like ridiculous highlight. And this is, I just slept for like three hours. So I did this makeup like six hours ago and then I slept on it for three hours. So sorry if my makeup it doesn't look bomb. But anyway, this is really nice if I want more of like a subtle highlight. But I did just buy this yesterday, so I don't have an official opinion about it. But it looks like it's a little bit more natural. Next, I tried this Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer, and I really like this. It's a nice light to medium coverage. It's no Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm wearing it today. I do really like this. It just brightens up your under eyes. And it's really cheap because it's from Koki. I'm pretty sure I got this at, like, Walmart, but I do like that. Next, this is not amazing, but it's not horrible. This is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. It has a really cool-looking wand, but... I don't know. This is, like, not bad, but it's not amazing. It's just, like, eh, it's whatever. Um, then I have some lip products for you guys. So I picked up two from Milani. So this first one is the Amore Matte 
metallic lip cream and I literally hate this I think it is so ugly this is a number one chromatic addict and I think it's just me like it's a personal thing but there's a swatch of it I want to swatch the BH because my ex-pal that's why I'm not trying to do tiny swatches but I think just metallic I just bought it to try out a metallic lip color and I really want to try out a red because I feel like a red might be pretty but this color specifically this like brown looks horrible on me I literally hate this and I will never wear it again another day in my life anyway then I got the Amore matte lip cream and I think this one is supposed to be more of a liquid lipstick these are from Milani if I didn't say that this one's in the shade 12 loved and this one just looks like a really pretty berry red color and I am really excited to try this if you guys have tried any of these lip products let me know if you like them because I have yet to try them except for that metallic one and then I got two Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colors. So I got two colors. So the first one is in number 10, well, wait, number 110 Blush. And it's like a really pretty mauve pink color. This is like basically the lip color I wear every day of my life. I'm wearing a little bit of a darker one today though. And then this one is in 200 Pink Blink, which this one's more of a rosy pink. So, I'm really excited to try these out. I have not yet, so I don't know if they're good or not. But, yes, that's all the drugstore stuff I've picked up recently. Now we have the BH palette. I'm so excited about this. First, I ordered four. Um, you know, of course, it was like $50 free shipping. And I was planning on just buying this palette, but I was like, oh my god, let me get free shipping. So then I ordered some lip products. So I'm pretty sure these are like all liquid lipsticks. This one is the Liquid Linen long lasting lip color this is the BH liquid lipstick long wearing matte lipstick so is this one and then this one is literally called liquid lipstick so these are just basically like four different types of liquid lipsticks that they have I mean three this one I have two of these ones but just I don't know they're all liquid lipsticks so I'm gonna swatch them for you guys so the first one is just the liquid lipstick in the shade Marcia If I could get it open and this one looks like this I have yet to open these so I have no idea what any of these look like it's literally just came in the mail like two minutes ago oh that's pretty I just hope these actually dry down matte that's a really nice mauvey color I just hope these actually like dry down and stay on because some liquid lipsticks don't dry down all the way and I literally hate that this one's in Endora and this one looks like it's a little bit more pink it's actually a lot more pink this is a little bit more pink than I was expecting, but you know, that's what happens when you order online. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, there we go. That's that one right there. Okay, next we have the Liquid Linen, if you can see that. And this is in the shade Shelby. Oh, it has a seal on it. Let's just rip that. And this one, oh, this is a really nice nudie pink color. Oh, that's so pretty. This is like a baby doll pink color. It's right there. That's really pretty. I'm excited about that. And then next we have the literal liquid lipstick. This has really nice packaging, by the way. And this is in Rosy Ray. Oh, this one is huge. This is like, I don't know if you can tell how fat this is, but it is, it is fat. This is a fat liquid lipstick. Like, can you tell how big this thing is? It's literally huge. Oh yeah, this one's pretty. And that one is right there. So these are all really pretty. They're all a little bit different. And next, this is the whole reason that I'm filming this video. I got the Desert Oasis palette. Oh my god. This palette is literally me in a palette. Like, I don't buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes because I like really light shimmery colors. And a lot of palettes just have colors that are darker than I honestly wear. But this one is, it's an eye and 19 color shadow and highlighter palette. So I'm pretty sure this shade right here is supposed to be a highlighter, but honestly, I would use these all as eyeshadow. But here is what it looks like. I literally think it is so freaking stunning. I love it. So I'll do some swatches. So this one is Serenity. This one is Bliss. This is like a really pretty reflective yellow. Um, we have Moonscape quartz um this is the highlight shade right here let me like actually put these on those are those three 
Um, we have Utopia. Oh my god, look how stunning that is. And then we have the shade Hideaway. And guys, I literally was not pressing hard in those at all. Like, look how stunning those swatches are. I cannot wait to use this. I'm, like, literally so mad I already did my makeup today. But literally, this palette looks so beautiful. Just look at it one more time. Like, I love this. These are just a bunch of shimmery neutral shades, which is literally me. That's, like, what I wear. So, I am so excited. If you guys want me to do a tutorial, I don't do tutorials. So, if you want me to do a tutorial with this eyeshadow palette... Let me know, and I will do that, because this is literally stunning. I am so excited about this. I could cry. Okay, next I have some stuff to show you from Plato's Closet, and I really suck. I cut off all the tags for this stuff, but I think I remember how much all of it cost. And I only have, like, five things to show you. So, first is this shirt from Pink, and it's really cute. This was $13, and, like, this would have cost 40 bucks at Pink, literally. So, it just says Pink, and then it says Pink under it again, and it has these cute little stripes on the sleeves, and it has this really pretty, like, like I don't know what this is like tropical looking thing on the inside and then it has a huge cutout in the back and this was literally like 12 or 13 bucks for something from pink I was like yes next this is from rue 21 and this is so cute it's like a plaid flannel looking thing but then it has that really cute lace-up design I love this this was like eight dollars I think like literally Plato's Closet is the shit like oh my god I freaking love Plato's Closet and if they don't have that where you live, it's basically where you take your, like, name brand clothes and sell them, and they give you money for them, and then they sell them, like, basically, they take, they buy, they, bleh. they sell clothes that people sell to them, and they sell them for a way discounted price than what it would cost retail, and then if you sell your clothes, you get a percentage of what they're going to sell it for. Next, this shirt was, I think, $6, and this is from Charlotte Russe. It's this really cute just like tribal pinky design and then it has this really cute like lace detailing down the back in the center I thought this was so cute and all this stuff was so affordable then this I think was six bucks and this is from Charlotte Russe and it's this really cute maroon long sleeve shirt with this gorgeous 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 gold detailing on the shoulders is that not so beautiful I was like this is so cute so I got this I love it. It's adorable. It's just nice. And then these are kind of not summery, but, like, I wanted to get stuff that wasn't summery because it's, like, the middle of August, so, you know, September is a couple weeks away, so I didn't get really summer clothes, but I just was, I'm preparing for the fall, okay? I'm excited. And then this I remember was $7. This is from Mud, so I think you can get this at Kohl's. I'm pretty sure that's where you buy that brand. But, um, it's just really cute. This was $7, and it's just a cream, nude, tan gray I don't really know what color this is but it's just a cute little sweater cardigan thing and I thought this was so cute I have cardigans in every single color except for this one so that's why I bought it and I just thought this was adorable and I really like it so that is everything I have to show you guys um I hope you enjoyed if you want reviews or anything on any of the stuff I show just comment that down below and I will be happy to do that and sorry I haven't uploaded in a little bit but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you all so 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 much. Please subscribe if you have not already because it literally makes my whole life and I love you all so much and leave video requests down below because all your comments get sent to my phone and I see every single one. So yeah I love you guys so much. Okay I'm going to stop talking.